According to a recent study, San Luis Obispo and Santa Barbara counties are in the top 20 most expensive areas in the nation to raise children. KSBY News reporter Delaney White joins us with, with more. The Central Coast is one of the most expensive places to raise a child, but local agencies like the Slow Food Bank are trying to lessen that burden for those in need. A recent study conducted by Smart Asset shows San Luis Obispo and Santa Barbara counties are among the top 20 most expensive areas in the nation to raise children. The study measures the baseline cost for families with two working adults adding one to three children to their budget. The study takes into account the costs of housing, child care, food and health care across 381 metro areas in the United States. Ann Arbor, Michigan takes the top spot with the average annual cost per child exceeding 30 thousand dollars. San Luis Obispo County comes in at number 20 with the average annual cost per child coming out to approximately twenty four thousand dollars per year. Every month we're providing uh, nutrition assistance to over thirty one thousand five hundred of our slow county residents uh, and tragically about a quarter of those we see are children. This high price tag puts even the most basic necessities out of reach for many families. A lot of the things that are going on with families right now have to do with housing. Um, we have a real shortage of housing in the county. The Link Family Resource Center provides family advocacy services throughout the county, serving children 0 to 18 years of age, providing resources regarding housing, clothing, food, and medical care. Some families will have Section 8 housing vouchers, but there's no landlords to honor those, so we're trying to get more landlords to become Section 8 housing landlords. Collins tells me the greatest need for families right now is housing, gas, clothing, and food, especially this time of year when back-to-school supplies and clothing are also needed. A lot of need for food, uh, knowing where to go for food. We have an incredible partnership with the San Luis Obispo County Food Bank. The Slow Food Bank provides fresh produce to underserved members of the community. Much of the produce is locally grown and donated. A lot of the folks that are so vital to our neighborhoods, to our community, uh, to our way of life, and to our local economy uh, struggle to be able to make ends meet while living in this beautiful place. Olson provides a cost breakdown of what the food bank spends on food versus what a parent at the grocery store might spend on the same amount of produce. And for $20, we can buy 110 pounds of produce. Olson says the the average person spending $20 on produce would be able to buy about 12 pounds of produce. The, the power in this community of investing in the purchasing brilliance of the Slow Food Bank has never been more important than it is now. And you can receive assistance from the Slow Food Bank by visiting slowfoodbank.org. Reporting in San Luis Obispo, Delaney White, KSBY News. You can donate directly to the Link Family Resource Center by visiting their office. If you are seeking assistance with resources, you can call Collins directly at 805-794-0217. She is able to accommodate Spanish and English-speaking callers.